A blessed morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us enter into the Word. Today's Gospel reading is taken from Luke chapter 21, verses 12 to 19. The theme is Moving Against the Current. On 31st December 2016, an American social activist, Valerie Kaur, who spoke at a gathering concerning the troubled times in America. The mother in me asks, what if this darkness is not the darkness of the tomb, but of the womb? What if we are not a dead country, but a country that is waiting to be born? What if our story is one of long labor? What does the midwife tell you to do? when you are in labour. Breathe and push. Likewise, how do you and I cope with the current endemic, our own personal struggles, addictions and helplessness? How do we move against the current or rise above our situations? Brothers and sisters, there are three points to ponder. The persecution, the call, and the endurance. The persecution. In verse 12, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you. Here, Jesus warns his followers that they will be confronted with weakness, false teachings, and persecutions. There will also be temptations to renounce their faith when it is put to the test. Likewise, we too face betrayal even by our own family members and friends. Unjust treatment, prejudice, and being attacked because we bear Jesus' name. Jesus does not promise that life will be easy for us. However, we are not alone. Christians of every age have had to face this reality. Yet the early church thrived despite intense persecution. Persecution had helped to spread Christianity. The call. In verse 13, this will be your opportunity to bear witness. We are to trust Jesus in all these challenges, anxieties and worries. It is also an invitation to live in the present moment where Jesus meets us to give us peace amidst life's storms. It is, however, not a time to measure our self-worth through accepting the world's psychology and remedy of handling breakdowns or crises. We are also not to confuse popularity with happiness. Instead, we are to fix our eyes on what is of true value. However, at the same time, Jesus promises words and wisdom that will prove irresistible to our accusers and total protection through His providence. Thirdly, my brothers and sisters, the endurance. In verse 19, it says, By your endurance, you will gain your lives. We have a choice. Either to choose despair or to endure and become an overcomer. Endurance, my brothers and sisters, never gives up hope in God. It is an essential strength. It is a supernatural gift given to us by the Holy Spirit to help us to bear up under any trial or temptation. Romans 5 verses 4 to 5 tells us, Endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. And so, my brothers and sisters, endurance is linked with godly hope, the assurance of seeing God's face face to face and inheriting all the promises Jesus has made. A second century lawyer, Tertullian, who converted when he saw Christians singing as they went out to die, 
by the hands of their persecutors, persecutors explained. The blood of the martyrs is seed. Their blood is the seed of new Christians, the seed of the church. The third century Bishop Cyprian said, when persecution comes, God's soldiers are put to the test and heaven is open to martyrs. We have not enlisted in an army to think of peace and to decline battle, for we see that the Lord has taken first place in the conflict. Our Holy Father, Pope Francis, urges each and every one of us to pray for Christians who are victims of persecution, so that they may know how to respond to evil with good. True martyrs live and die as witnesses of the gospel. They overcome their enemies through persevering hope and courage, undying love and forbearance, kindness, goodness and compassion. God may call some of us to be martyrs who shed their blood for being witness to Jesus Christ. But for most of us, our call is to be dry martyrs. We bear testimony to the joy and power of the gospel amid daily challenges, contradictions, temptations and adversities which come our way as we follow our Lord Jesus. And so my brothers and sisters, let us reflect. Even though the darkness continues over the entire world, in many forms, like a pregnant mother giving birth, we must keep our breathing and pushing so that the baby within us that is God's kingdom will be born. If we do not breathe, we die. If we do not push, the kingdom dies within us. And so let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, grant us the grace to love our enemies, to be joyful in suffering, to be patient in adversity, to pardon all injuries, to show comfort and compassion to the hopeless and helpless. Jesus, you remind us not to fear our adversities. Grant us sufficient grace, strength and wisdom to face any trial and to answer any challenges to face to our faith. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and have a blessed day, brothers and sisters.